So it's seven o'clock. We're gonna call the meeting to order. Uh, the meeting of the Hadley Zoning Board of Appeals. Um, so this 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 could be this might be him. Yeah. Just say call the meeting to order again. Yeah. Marshall. Marshall. Yeah. Okay. Hi. Please have a seat. Sorry about the confusion with the rooms. We're Okay, so we just uh, we just called the meeting to order, and so uh, Iris was asking as we were just getting started here. Uh, so there are two addresses there. Eleven is your main address at this point, right? And you've created thirteen, right? Uh, recently with the town, which is a, a building in the back. Yeah. Of, uh, yeah. Oh. So it's on the same uh, pro uh, yeah. uh, I'm a realtor, so I, 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 I pull out of this information. <laughs> but the, uh, like uh, it says, uh, uh, 11 has a two and a half acres uh, big house. Mm -hmm. And 13, and they didn't put on the record yet. Maybe right. it's already on the town record, but it's not on the uh, public assessment uh, record yeah. yet. Okay. That's, apparently the assessment won't be different. Okay. It, 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 it's kind of a, you know they gave me the number, but didn't necessarily break it down as a separate assessment. Okay. Okay. So why don't you why don't we just start? Why don't we have you? So we've uh, gone and kind of gone over the address thing. So there's two addresses there now. Mm -hmm. Why don't you just explain to us uh, what what you have going on? I, I know it's related to a, a licensure issue. Yes. So so I have a license to sell firearms that I've had for 20 years at the web. Now, the state decided that they wanted me to put it in a separate building, which I put it on our building. Then they decided to need it to be a different parcel, which is the reason I went to the town hall and they said, okay, we'll give you number 13 and that will be considered a different parcel. Now I need documentation that 13 is a separate parcel and that because I think I was told that it was a, it would I would be asking for a finding that that since I had been allowed to do business at 11 for 20 years that moving it to the back building would be allowed and still be allowed to do business there. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, so uh, so he's been he's been doing like a home based business there for over 20 plus years. And that, so where we're at now there is that is a question for us to make a determination of, but it seems that that would be outside of the zoning enforcement officer's like ability to stop that because he's been doing it for so long. Mm -hmm. So that's a, a pre-existing non-conforming use of the, of the area that he's worked, that he's uh, operating a business there. So the question before us is whether we want to see it as a pre-existing non-conforming use and then whether his uh, request to um, move the building move the business from 11 to 13 is uh, whether that's any more detrimental basically to like make that change it's a change of the pre-existing non-conforming use and is that uh, you know any more detrimental to the neighborhood to move it from 11 to 13 basically is the I think that's the kind of okay. technical question before us and you've you've operated the business out of 11 for how long since 2003 when I moved from I moved business from Amherst okay I also have complete records of every visitor okay you know, as required by federal law sure so I could tell you exactly how many people per year per month per day or wouldn't be per day because it's only like one a month right as far as traffic goes. <clears throat> I just had a curiosity, are you more like a transfer agent or do you actually have weapons at the, like a storefront or anything like that? No storefront. So you just transfer in and then, okay. So <clears throat> the way I see it, th this seems like a, a fairly minor change, I guess also just in terms of full disclosure, this is, this is not something that has come to us because the zoning uh, enforcement officer has any problems no, nobody uh, on the zoning side of town has any problem with this operation this is just something that um, Marshall's come to us with because he's trying to straighten out this licensure issue so this is not an issue where he has is being um, like accused of doing anything in, wrong zoning wise it's just a way that he's trying to uh, figure out like his paperwork with the, the state and the federal government 
so I see the change from 11 to 13 as a pretty minor change. Uh, it is like in terms of, I mean, it's, it's really just a technical change. He's created a new address, but it's on his same parcel. He hasn't built a new building or, or done anything that is making the use any more intense or any more, uh, you know, impactful on the neighborhood. It's just he's moved it from one part of his house to the other in terms of what we should care about for that. Like, it's now the building will be, like, the use, the firearms will be in a separate, which is also what the state's looking for, will be in a separate building, like, outside of his residence, away from, like, separated from his residence. Um, it seems pretty straightforward to me. Like, I don't, like I said, it didn't really come to us through any type of issue that anyone was having with the um, with it from a zoning perspective. So, um, like, I, I don't have any problem with that. I don't know what you guys think about it. Looks good to me. Uh, it's, a, it's a zone as an AR, right? Mm -hmm. There's a, the, the, the agriculture part, would that create any issue? <clears throat> so that's where he's been doing it for 20 years. Mm -hmm. So once you're doing it for that long period of time, uh, uh, the zoning enforcement officer hasn't, um, if he hasn't like asked you to stop, they can't really stop. They can't really ask you to stop after like that's what makes it a pre-existing, mm -hmm. like non-conforming use because it's been there for so long. Uh -huh. So, um, but yes, you're right that it is. That's why it's non-conforming because it's agriculture residential. I mean, I think we we do have like you could get a permit through the planning board and you could you could have home-based occupations in agricultural residential. Okay. Um, the planning board does like have a permitting process for that. Um, okay. It has to do with like whether you have customers coming on site, things like that. Uh, part like employees, you know, they have the so the planning board. So it's not like totally not allowed, but just he doesn't have the permit through the planning board. So that's what makes it non-conforming. Mm -hmm. um, so you're just essentially <coughs> establishing a paper trail for the separate address to go back to the state to get your business up and running right, again. Right. Okay. But, but, but you know, it's the new license is I already have the new license and it's all approved. But what created this problem was when I asked the state. I wanted to update my federal and state licenses with the proper address. Mm -hmm. They were mm -hmm. valid licenses. When I asked the state for a properly addressed license to send to the feds, then they got picky about it. And okay. just yeah, I mean, like like our chairman said, it doesn't seem like there's any issue, and this you're you're operating under the blessing of the town. You just need to establish. Um, the proper paperwork to get your licensure for the state. For number um, 13, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for number 13, thank you. Mm -hmm. That seems good okay. to me. <laughs> <clears throat> so I think what we would be looking for is a, um, <clears throat> a motion to recognize right. the pre-existing non-conforming use and um, to uh, for a finding that the change from 11 to 13 is, is no, more. no more detrimental to the neighborhood. I so move. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Very good. Finding right. granted. Thank you. All right. And thank you for your service to the town. I'm sure it's Have a great business. Good luck. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> thank you. Well, continue your great business. <laughs> It's <laughs> 705. No, it's 711, but we just got to wait a couple yeah. minutes. I don't know if any of nobody if nobody showed up for that one, I don't think anybody's going to show up for a general <laughs> discussion. So the second one was just that. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh. Well, uh, since I'm new, I just recently read that. About it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we still have to, I, I don't think I've even done it, but you probably still need to also to uh, send in the 
you have to sign the last page of it. Of what? The, the uh, code of conduct? The, yeah, the code yeah. of conduct. I, did, did they email then? I didn't receive it. I'll email too. Okay. Yeah, that's <clears> no problem. But they also wanted us to... Discuss? They wanted us to adopt it, like to say that oh, the okay. that board adopts it. <clears throat> Let's wait a couple minutes. Um, yeah, so I'll get... So I have one of these for you. I, I, Wonderful. I think Linda dropped one off. At, I think she dropped it off when she, re, when she uh, resigned. Oh, um, okay. But if she didn't... So I can check at Town Hall, but also I have an extra one because she made, she made four copies, so I can get you one. Okay, no hurry. Yeah. I have a digital copy, yeah, yeah. so I just print a couple of related <clears throat> pages for today. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It's just kind of helpful to bring it to have at the meeting. So, you, so yeah, yeah. Um, so, um, what time? What time you got there? Seven ten. Seven ten. <laughs> Yeah, this uh, gentleman has a really big house, uh, a big yard. So <laughs> that's a type of, of everything to yeah, run a yeah. small business there. <clears throat> yeah, it was just it was just an issue with the he needed to create a new State. address, but then not then then the paper trail didn't like match up because then he had a new address and it didn't line up with the original one. Hmm. So we'll go home and study the, the code of uh, conduct uh, one more time. <laughs> right. <laughs> Actually, it's, uh, we, I would do that because uh, I like it to do work, but uh, I'm do, I do worry about uh, violating anything. Yeah, mm, yeah of course. I'm just I'm going by that clock out there. We got seven fourteen. Seven fourteen. Seven fourteen. So okay. Wait one That's more fine. minute. That's the official clock on residence. So. <laughs> Can we go turn it off? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we're not allowed. Oh yeah, gee. That's. Maybe written in the code of conduct. <laughs> we'll to, find uh, out uh, how, how to re record as a public meeting. <laughs> I know. I wonder if I have to be that specific. I wonder if I could just say the meeting starts at seven. If, and the, we'll just get, handle these things in order. Well, because sometimes if we have a lot of things, people don't come till later uh, because yeah. they know that it starts then. How often do these ZBA have meetings? So uh, right, regularly. So, so it's, I'm going to note okay. that it's 7:15. So we're moving on to the general business. So we only we have meetings as necessary. So it's based well, on people. For your for a form, we have yeah. a to. To have this meeting within so many yeah. days. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So yep. When someone fills out a form, we have. There is a deadline. I don't, we don't. I haven't had any issues with the deadline. But basically, like I'll try to wait normally to get if like so. Tommy in the building department will mm -hmm. some sometimes have like more of a feel because he's people have talked with him about like building projects that they have coming up. Okay. So what we typically will do is like I'll try to wait until we get. Like a couple, like a like two or three lined up, so that we can do them all at once. Oh yeah, that's good. Um, and then uh, I just tried to do this one quickly because he's having that like licensure issue. So then, because we have to put them in the newspaper and things like that. So do um, we have a little overlap with the planning board, um, planning part? Uh, not. Not not like really directly. Sometimes people will be denied things at the planning board, and uh -huh. they will come here as like an appeal. So uh -huh. 
for instance, they will, like we have one area that comes up is like with signs for businesses, like there's planning board rules on, or not planning board, but bylaw rules on how big signs can be mm -hmm. for businesses. And so the planning board, as part of their like site review plot process will say that you can't have the sign that you want. And so sometimes the people will come here after they're at the planning board because mm -hmm. they'll be trying to get uh, relief to get a bigger sign or a different type of sign than the planning board is letting them have. Okay. But not, and then we have had like some, I think we had that joint hearing with the planning board once. I'm not really sure. I don't That's know. before my time. I, I don't believe. remember what like triggered that, but we did have a joint hearing. But but no, typically, typically like the main things that we deal with are um, somebody is applying to the building department for a building permit, and the, mm -hmm. when they look at the building permit that they've asked for, the building department turns them down because they say you're mm -hmm. too close to the sideline, you're too close to the road, whatever. And mm -hmm. so then they are then they end up coming to us about that so that's like typically the way it comes the other way that it could come is if the zoning enforcement officer which is the building inspector he also mm -hmm. is the zoning enforcement officer if he like tells someone that something that they're doing is in violation of the zoning uh -huh. bylaws somebody can appeal that decision to us so if he says you're not allowed to have like a particular flag in front of your business the person could like say i think you have that wrong and they could like ask us to review okay. that decision um, so those are like the main ways that pe that they come to us. Um, we do a lot with like what we just had there, like a pre-existing like use, because a lot of the houses mm -hmm. in town are too close to the road, mm -hmm. or they are um, on pieces of property that are mm -hmm. like too small, like dimensionally, like they don't have a full acre. Okay. So people, when they want to like add onto their house, it's it might be like taking up more of the property than they're allowed to, or they're getting too close to the sideline, or they're making more. Um, like they want to build a deck on the front of their house and it's going to make, be too close to the road. So it's a lot of like that type of stuff. Um, but it's usually coming from like building department. Yeah. Yeah, actually, we're, we're supposed to sit here until this turn off, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I don't feel like I always see all the time. No, no, no. no. Uh, and, uh, there's an older, bigger project. I always wonder. I assume this CBA part that was uh, deeply involved, that a big, heavily, like a 55 um, plus community they build. A Are you talking on East Street? On East Street, okay. uh, in between, and also with uh, the uh, biking trail. Yes. Uh, I was told, uh, somebody mentioned that to me, that wasn't, uh, they have to do a lot of rezoning work uh, to, to, to make it happen. Um, not, that one did not come to us, that, because 55 and over uh, goes through the planning board. So okay, the, the, planning, the planning board does special permits for 55 and over housing. That is, there's a, um, there's a 55 and over like district. I think it goes from like right around there. Uh -huh. It's on Route 9, it goes like towards the bridge. Mm -hmm. Oh really? Yeah. Oh okay. Because I need to go go back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and yeah, I was uh, told. Uh, yeah, that was uh, they have to go through a lot of paperwork to rezone. Yeah. rezone. Oh, they were try they did try to rezone one though. That that was a different project. I'm not sure if that's what you're talking about, but that didn't come to us. That was like went to town meeting. Okay. Th that was like across the street, kind of from uh, that the current one. You know, the one on East Street next to the bike path. They mm -hmm. wanted to do one like they wanted to do one between like East and Middle Street. Oh yeah, that's right, that's right. So that, 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 that one they tried to change, they, they tried to- On that land over there behind the frame maker guy there, right? Like behind, no, farther Collins? over, like behind, um, behind like uh, Newton Lane. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So that's right. Yeah, so they were trying to like expand the, I'm not sure if this is what you're asking about, but they were trying to expand the, um, they were trying to change like that 55 and over zone. So that uh -huh. 55 and over zone, I think is like maybe a little bit closer to Route Nine, and they were trying to like move it back to like allow oh, for that one. But then they were talking about a fifty-five and over project that might involve us, like the one that um, over by um, the heavy the village barn shops. That's right. They were talking. Oh, they were okay. talking about that one might come to us, but I haven't heard anything about that. But they were going to do something. The ho um, the Parmars, like the hotel mm -hmm. people, they were going to do is something. There's a, yeah, I was wondering another thing. Um, a friend of mine, she lives in Sutherland uh, on that uh, off uh, that uh, street, off the Cummings Street in North yep. Adelaide. Uh, 
it just you know just uh, heavily then become sunlight. So uh, we look at uh, a couple of uh, you know Burkum, uh, and then there's another builder build uh, a bunch of new, big new houses in that area. We look at that, and then we were I was told, and this new uh, development, uh, you you can't just install solar on your roof. You have to get a permit. Mm -hmm. you also, you have to. You know, my friend the current house in Switzerland, he has this really tall fence, metal fence. Uh, I was told that those are not allowed. So, so those, uh, those are all in, in this zoning law, right? Um, I'm not familiar with the solar panel one. I know for any installation of solar panels, you have to get a building permit. You'd have to get, go to the building department and, and get a permit for solar installation. Oh, okay. But nothing, I don't believe, is zoning. Yeah, I don't think we have. Uh, not if it's tied to your like. Not if it's tied to a residential thing. Like I think there's different. Like Berg Kim's development might have, um, you oh. know, an HOA stipulation that there's no solar allowed on roofs. Oh, that okay. would be for the private, say the private community. Like oh, yeah, okay. that they have restriction. Perhaps I'm not familiar. I don't oh, know. Oh, just for that, that little little community. Okay, yes. I see. Yeah, but there's no there's no there's no zoning things about there's nothing zoning wise about um, like residential. Yeah, like yeah. A, uh, like a, it's a fence. They said that it has to be below certain height. I bet you that I bet you that's a, a rule, like a neighborhood rule. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so I don't think this we get is it. not covered up. Because I don't think you even need to get fence permits. I don't no. think we even have fence permits. I think you can just build a fence. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, hmm. yeah. Yeah, that just might be. That I don't could, know if it's called a constitution. I know there's a restrictive covenant. Yes. That it has rules for the set community that the okay. that the builder sets or the community sets okay. limitations of what you can do. Oh yeah, they they don't want to you lower the <laughs> neighborhood right. standard. Right, and, and they they can have any rule they want. You know, your doors have to match your shutters or stuff like that. Oh, okay. It can be it can be restrictive. Yeah. Uh -huh. But I'm not familiar if the, if those have any. I don't know, <clears throat> but it could be. All right. So then. Last thing is just uh, uh, that we're going to ad uh, adopt the select board's code of conduct. That's something that the select board has like promulgated, and they've asked all all the boards to take a look at it. And I think Iris has already reviewed it and signed the sheet. <laughs> Jason and I are still pending on <laughs> signing the sheet, but they just they're... downloaded the last one. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we. Um, yeah, they're asking us as a board to just adopt it, say that it's going to be incorporated into our rules as a board. I mean, either of you guys have any issue with doing that? No. Okay, so... Um, I'll move that we adopt the select board's uh, code of conduct as we have reviewed it. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll second that. And then all those in favor? Aye. Aye. So adopted. All right. Any more That's business? it. Yeah. Uh, no more business. We'll go ahead and uh, and and close the meeting.